Hi guys and welcome to today's video in which we will take a look at a fragrance by Amouage. This one came out last year in 2017 and it's called Beach Hot Man. Now Beach Hot Man I don't have a bottle of, I have a decant, I received it from a very good friend of mine Farid. Thank you again so much brother for uh, sending me this uh, decan. I have worn it a couple of times actually so I have a pretty good feel of this fragrance. Uh, I can tell you so far, this is amazing. I will probably at one point or another buy a full bottle when I run out of this decan. So guys, this was created last year by Elise Benazzi. She is a new perfumer for Amois. She recently did some uh, fragrances for Jill Saunders. Uh, rituals and I think she did an amazing job and guys to give you an idea of how insanely strong this fragrance is just by sitting over there next to the camera I can smell it right up until here from the decant itself so it's amazing in terms of performance but first things first composition guys this fragrance opens up with the notes of mint orange blossom and galbanum Transitioning to a heart of vetiver, oak moss and ivy and drying down into a base of myrrh, patchouli and woody notes. Um, Beach Hot Man is considered as a woody aromatic fragrance. It is more of a green monster. Think about the Hulk. Yes, I'm wearing a, a, a t-shirt of Superman. It should have been uh, my other t-shirt from the Elysium video where I had the, the, the Hulk present because it is such a green potent aromatic uh, fragrance and I think the name itself Beach Hunt Man does not represent what you would consider inside of the bottle. It, it, it has nothing to do with marine or uh, sea notes like saltiness of the water fresh elements yes there is that mint in the opening and that gives you like a, a a burst of freshness but it quickly transitions on my skin into that combination of galbanum ivy vetiver oak moss i get a lot of that in the dry down and maybe just a little bit of that balsamic quality from the myrrh but guys, the greenness, I'm sorry to keep repeating it, it's so green. This fragrance is very polarizing. If you are not familiar with green fragrances and you uh, have no idea how that will respond with your you know, likings or not, please don't ever blind buy this fragrance. Try it out first. You know, I never recommend blind buying, but um, it's very polarizing. Ivy, for those of you who are not familiar with the note itself, I had to look it up myself. Ivy is actually a rock or a stone climbing. It can climb up to your house. It's a, some sort of plant and it's native to Europe and Asia. I actually have it in front of my house. I will put a picture up so you can get a, a bit of an idea what it's supposed to be like. Anyways, this plant produces some sort of bitter fruits that are nutritious to animals, uh, birds and so on. And this, when you extract it into perfume oil, it's, it's very green, it's bitter, it adds some sort of freshness, just like galbanum, which is also in the same genre of um, fragrance notes. So those two really shine in the composition and you have that woody backbone, typical oak moss vetiver feel. It's very masculine again I don't really like to you know put fragrances into boxes like this is masculine this is feminine but if there is such a thing as a masculine fragrance Amouage Beach Hot Man is in that you know category it's insanely potent as well as I mentioned before this is one of the most powerful summer fragrances that I have ever smelled it is just so incredibly potent I think this decant will last me another good few months. So uh, guys, that's it, you know, uh, it's the green monster basically and I think it's very underrated. I think this fragrance deserves quite uh, some more attention, a lot more actually. A lot of people hate on it and to be honest, it, it took me a few wearings 
to really start to appreciate it. At first I was blown away because of the polarizing aspect to it and I wasn't suspecting you know that kind of intensity and and specific notes to be honest. Uh, I was surprised I gotta tell you. Um, it, it, it did however transition on my skin really well and the lasting power it blew me away after a couple of wearings, wearings I was definitely convinced that this is just a very nice creation for the house of Amouage so guys if you haven't smelled it try it out let me know what you think I'm very curious to see your comments as usual thank you so much for watching hope you have a great day keep smelling awesome guys see you in the next one